All right, today's Friday. We're doing three Nomergons today, and I'm here in the first one on my third level 40 rogue. And many of you ask, why do you have three rogues at level 40? Well, it's because I like playing rogue, so deal with it. Um, this character has pretty good gear now. We have three-piece set bonus, Blood Harvest, Sacrificial Chris of the Tiger. Uh, Deftkin Belt is probably our weakest piece, so we're hoping to see Skullduggery Wasteband off of the first boss uh, here. So that that's the most exciting thing. Then Toxic Revenger off of second boss would be really nice to have that. And we're going through all of our different consumables. Ogre Strength and Fortitude, finally. Okay. Shadow Oil on the offhand. You don't use poisons as a rogue when you have a Deadly Brew Rune, because the Deadly Brew Rune just gives you all your poisons for free. Both instant and deadly will be applied just through the Deadly Brew Rune. And our talent specialization is 26 in Assassination, 0 Combat, 5 Subtlety. Uh, this is a pug group out of looking for group chat, but my impression is these, these guys seem like they're pretty good. We're on voice chat. We just got simple main spec over off spec rolls for loot. Um, and uh, they, they seem, my, my impression is they seem like pretty organized, decent group. So I think this will be a good run. Rogue tanks do no poison damage. No, as a rogue tank, you have your just a flesh wound rune, and then you have to actually manually apply poisons to your weapons with like actual poisons. Oh, do I have? No, I don't have arcane elixirs. First cloud. Okay, so there's one poison cloud. There's second poison cloud. Try to have a little bit of slice and dice going. Okay, boss spawn. I think the boss spawned before all the trash was dead, because we actually, like, killed the trash really slowly. I didn't know that could happen. It's pretty good. Oh, uh, no, no skullduggery. Prediction outcome, no. New prediction, start prediction, will... Toxic... Revenger drop all right next prediction we did get the trog trinket we'll see if uh that let's see if we win that i don't know i got the trog trinket on my other character it's kind of lame honestly i'll pass on it because i got it on another character already decided it's lame Now, we use multiple uh, long cooldowns on that boss. We will probably not have 10 minute cooldowns back before we get to Viscous Fallout. So Viscous Fallout might be a no helm uh, boss for us. The funny thing about the Trog is it's missing a couple different animations like it doesn't have a jump animation and it doesn't have a swim animation. So if you jump, your character 
like your animation just freezes in a standstill motion while you go like that. And if you swim, your character's also just like locked in an idle animation and moving and not swimming. Not, no like actual animation like that. Uh, all the add-ons and weak auras are on the Discord, and there's also uh, a YouTube video that walks you through all the different add-ons that I uh, use, which is not very many. A very quick YouTube video shows you how to set it up. Okay, just to be clear, because in some of my other groups, some people decide not to hit them. You're saying you want us all to hit the ads that spawn. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll name and shame everyone that doesn't do any damage to uh, the goose. <laughs> I was so tilted in my other group where, like, a bunch of people died because three people decided to not do any damage to the goo and just tunnel the boss. <laughs> but, uh, so I wanted to be very clear on this one. The raid leader wants everyone to kill the small goos that spawn. Mm, we're one minute off of Thistle Tea right now. Sure, skip up to the electrocutioner telep- or sorry, crowd pummeler teleporter you want. Yeah, sure thing. They want uh, a lot of trash skips, which I can do. I've, I've normally only done the trash skip between electrocutioner and menagerie. So I feel like that one, like, actually saves time. I don't know about the other ones, if they're, like, actually saving time or not. But we can do them. Whatever. So I think, because I know I'm gonna do the trash skip right after this boss, I'm gonna not burn my vanish on the boss. So that I can more reliably do the trash skip. Um... Vanish on the boss can give me an extra activation of uh, Master of Subtlety. So it can be like a small damage gain on the boss, but like, I don't care that much. I just want to make sure I consistently perform the like uh, trash skip utility that the uh, group wants for me. From me, I mean. Okay. So this is our, like, rage and combo point mob. Yep, combo points acquired. Oh, shit. Okay, I burned because I thought they were gonna come. <laughs> oh, well. Too late for that. <laughs> it's 
stunned. Good. Can we save our stack? Yes, we saved our stack. Nice. Dodge. Damn, couldn't even spend... I had multiple mutilate dodges at the end there. And I literally couldn't spend my energy fast enough. Okay. We're gonna go like this. Go prediction, no toxic revenger. There's no good loot off the next boss. So the prediction for crowd pummeler is, will anyone die on crowd pummeler? That's the best prediction for crowd pummeler. Although I gotta focus on actually stealthing through these right now. If I have any mods that wanna set up that prediction, that's great, otherwise I'll get it in just a sec. Do any of these actually? I figured the sentries would have stealth detection, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh. That's gonna have stealth detection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Teleporters activate. All right, let me see. Uh, star prediction. Will anyone die on crowd pummeler? Uh, okay, two minutes on the clock for that one. Prediction's up. Quick stealth and unstealth for uh, activating Master of Subtlety. And uh, if you just bind a regular stealth button to your action bar and your stealth bar, you can't stealth and unstealth that fast because the game actually forces a delay to prevent you from double clicking like that. Uh, the reason I can do that is because I have a macro stealth. First line says cancel aura stealth, second line says cast stealth. So press it once, you'll go into stealth. Press it twice, you'll go into and out of stealth as quickly as you can press the button. It makes it very easy to get a quick master of subtlety like I did right there. Only one scary mob in this whole pack, so let's just stun it. All the others are non elites. Distracted him. Ten seconds. They're going to try to use that mob as a rage mob. It's going to start moving again just about now. Okay, we need dragon chili. Go. 
Alright, careful to not do too much damage to the technician. We could spam sheep it also. Oopsies. Yeah, I gotta get a few combo points. Its health got a little low. Alright, I'm good on points now. Yep. There we go. Whoopsies, that was uh, not supposed to be a mutilate there. I was at five combo points already. Oops. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gimme, 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 gimme the Invenom. There we go. Invenom crit right at the end. That was nice. And uh, actually, you guys, no one died. No one died. Only 6% of you believed in this group. What a shame. Only 6% of you taking 94% of you's points. Wait. Wait, 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 Will, wait, 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 I worded it wrong. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I almost misclicked that. Will anyone die on Crowd Pummeler? The answer is no, which is 94% of you predicted that no one would die on Crowd Pummeler. Okay. Almost scammed you guys there with clicking the wrong prediction thing. Make a gnome rogue with massive eyeballs and call it Simon Eyes? Well, uh, I never thought of that before, but uh, that just increased the likelihood of me ever playing a gnome rogue. Yeah, I'm on my way towards the thing. <laughs> I think the female undead can't make the jump for the final skip the way I do on my male undead, so I have to do it a different way. So we'll figure that out when we get to it. Alright, teleporter's activated. You have Deviant Delights? Um, I think uh, I can do it with an Elixir of Giant Growth. I don't think Deviant actually helps me. Uh, would anyone in this group happen to have a elixir of giant growth? All right, it makes a jump easier. Uh, apparently, females have different hitboxes and can't do the neck this next skip jump the way I normally do, but I can do it a different way. Warning. 
I'll be good. It would just be easier if I had that and I didn't bring it. They're just, oh, sh boss incoming, careful. Uh, let's see, prediction, will anyone die on electrocutioner? That's a good one. Actually, will machinist gloves drop? All right, predictions up. charge people to go there otherwise we stay here uh, for the negative charge debuff the like lightning circle around you you said we want to move yep yeah, right here so for melee that'd be out of melee range then right uh, you can do like a triangle setup, right? Like the tank is here, the normal melee group is here, and then the person with electricity is here. And that should be safe. And if the electricity person is max melee range, they should they, everyone should be fine. Okay. I didn't like their lightning debuff positioning, so I clarified it and offered a better thing and they said we'll do we'll do the other thing. So cool. Let's get this. Uh let's get this. Okay, here we go. Great thistle tea. Oh, but then I wait. But then I was at full. At, wait, wait, wait. I thought it was a good thistle tea, but then I stopped paying attention. And then I sat at full energy for a while, which was not good. I'm going to have to check the VOD and see exactly what I did there. But it wasn't good. <laughs> the initial press of the Thistle T was good, and then I just, like, mind blanked for a couple of seconds and sat at full energy. Oh, I didn't cold blood. Can I do it? Can I do it? I got the cold blood. Nice. Okay, so not very good on the uh, electrocutioner execution. Oh, uh, uh, no, but no glove. Okay, here's where here's where we put our skills to the test. We have Vanish, we have Sprint. I'm gonna try to sprint and jump up at an angle at a section of the path that's sloping downwards. The goal is to get up onto the orange ledge. Ah, uh, no, I got three set already. 
was hoping for machinist gloves off that guy, but no luck. Where's this guy going? Uh, mob, hello? Okay, we made it past. Guardians can net you. That part's annoying. So, let's see. That guy cannot be distracted. The Arcane Nullifier can't be distracted. This is the jump that you apparently cannot make as a female character. <laughs> so, we're going to try to do a different jump. Angle like that with Sprint while out of stealth. Hopefully not get dazed. There we go. We're good. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, you guys. No problem. Keep commenting on the YouTube video that you can't do it as a female character. You're just not skilled enough. That's the only problem. Right. Uh, activating the teleporter right now. Triple trash skip. I've only ever done this final trash skip before. I, I have done the crowd pummeler or electrocutioner skip for any groups before, so that was cool. I actually saw the crowd pummeler like like i imagined you could do those i just didn't really think they were worthwhile to do before but i initially saw someone doing them from uh another content creator uh kipzo number gone trash skip i'm pulling up his video so i can link it in chat here All right, I don't know. Yeah, he showed three different uh, so trash skips, skills to good use, and I found out this is actually insane. Uh, which are the, the three we did use. here today. Yeah, Greggy, admittedly, the, the jump I did on this character was high risk. If I got dazed or if I got netted before getting up onto the orange platform, I'd probably have died. Uh, but the the like actual good way to do that is to just bring an elixir of giant growth. Because if you, if you get a bigger hitbox size, you can stick to the wall just like the male orc character. We up our shadow oil. Wonder if trog form worked? That's a good question. World Shrinker be good for it? I'd imagine. Anything that makes you bigger should change your hitbox to be good for that. Alright, I got my combos.
Slice and dice. Letting them get threat before I come over here. I think I want to save my helmet for the last boss. So I have to get what? They are not very much damage, I think. I can kick them if you want. Getting no overheat here. Overheating again. now over you now they called for more damage on sheep so I went over did more damage on sheep Sheep is reflecting currently. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. Got it. Okay. Okay. Did I not have chili? Oh, I forgot to refresh chili. Alright, well, we'll have chili for last boss then. Uh, did he crush this boss in combat spec that one time? Last time I did this as combat, I didn't have world buffs, and I got, I think it was rank 20 world for rogues on Menagerie. If I had DMF, it would have been rank 2 world. And probably with Spark of Imagination, it would have been rank one. <laughs> so we'll try again today in combat in one of our in our later raid. Uh, DMF is in Elwyn right now. Uh, what do we get for loot here? Power depleted, dark vision girdle, lightning rod spalders. Uh, no. No no agility cloak, no nothing good for us. Okay, what are we hoping for from last boss? Gyro trinket would be good. Um... Do I have chicken on this character yet? I think I do. Did I maybe put it in my bank? I thought I had chicken on all my characters. Well, whatever.
damage dealt to all mobs. I mean, it's based on your total damage output. So, like, whether you spread 250 damage on each of the four mobs or dealt 1,000 damage to one mob, that would be the same. Ah, uh, call me LD asking about that. So I don't know if we're going to have a kill that's slow enough to use two Thistle Tees, but in case we do, you know, I don't know how fast this group's going to kill the boss. In case we do, I want to use my Thistle Tee right away. Give myself the best chance of being able to use it twice. But I'm kind of guessing that we're going to kill it in like four minutes, 30 or something. Uh, the squirrel just constantly has a buff on it that makes it take 25% reduced damage. Uh, definitely attacking the squirrel is a L move. Someone's got to do it, but it's definitely not you because you're the main character of this raid. Remember that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. One. Usurpers! There we go. Whoa. Why do I have... So little health. Did I pull threat? No, oh, my threat meter is very good. Um. Okay, we have to check the VOD. There we go. It's okay. We didn't die. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh-oh. Watching threat here. Bap time. Uh oh. I need to rebuff UCB here. Evasion up. Nope. <laughs> the uh, see, first death in the fight. Freezing 707 overkill, rejuve, renew penance. Super cooled smash for 1k. Damn. Renew, renew, penance, penance, penance. That's a full penance.
This max health. It looks like he's dying from not that much damage. Freezing debuff. What happened? They died. Yeah, that's what happened. How do you get your large damage numbers? Uh, you do slash slash console space world text scale space three or four or five or six or however big you want them to be. Wouldn't be a Simonized show stream without someone asking how do you make the numbers so big? We got a mob here we have to kill, I think. Ooh, kidney shot failed. Big pog damage. Kick. There we go. Oops. Alright. Kuja, hello. Not late. Actually not late today. That's true. Those two daggers in your bag got me purse? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're very far from Gut Ripper. Alright, we reconsume. Mm-hmm. Okay. You missed a so oh sorry. Uh Abel Abelum Abel Mendez coming in with a prime. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support, Abel Mendez. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Got Romsey Rum, that's good. I don't have anything else. Okay, yeah, the big thing we're hoping for off of this boss is uh, first and foremost, the mount. Second, the gyro trinket. Banana Nico coming with a prime. Thank you for two months of support. I appreciate that, Banana Nico. Mm, World Warper comes off of Electrocutioner, I believe. Four, three, two, one. Shout, nice. Okay, here we go. Started a little slow. He's using a shield though, so his threat might be a little worse than before. Whoa, we're getting a lot of dodges and parries. Okay. 
There's a surge. Bet it's climbing, but we're still good. Boss is spinning. Furnace Surge. Yeah, without the world boss, we just can't skip the second Furnace Surge. Maybe we have some slice and dice by the time the next boss comes through, because I did a giga slice and dice before you phased. Oh, shit. It's tanking on the side I'm not used to him being tanked on. Did this before, also. I positioned on the same side as the tank. Here's the coolant discharge, there's the fap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a second coolant discharge. Oh, dodged my Venom. Uh-oh. Chillin', chillin'. Venom. Hey, UCB's on that side, so let's see. We're vanishing. We're blood raging. And we're... Threat Gloves. Waiting for that fifth deadly stack. Not gonna get it, apparently. Oops, I was too slow on that kick, actually. I guess we'll save Helm for final phase. Didn't have energy. tank. Okay, there is tank, so we go this side. Explosion! More explosion! I gotta have more explosion! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looking good. Boss moving. Furnace surging. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds on Blood Fury. I need to remember to press that when it comes up. Another fap. Non-critical in Venom. Unlucky. Alright. Custom Blaster. Oh! This is what we want. I rolled a 15. Unlucky. Maybe next time. 
power depleted legs, thermoplug engineering notes. All right, we already got the neck. Why do you want that? Because it has 18 attack power on it. I only have one trinket that actually gives me a DPS increase here. Uh, what, the, the necklace? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it already. I don't need it. Ranged attack power on that gun. Not useful. <laughs> uh, I would say pretty good run. I think someone said they were logging this. Maybe we can see our logs. They were uploaded. So I'm gonna eyes her. I'm looking it up on the other monitor. I'll see. I'll bring it on screen if it's there. Oh, wow. Wait, did we improve every single parse? <laughs> I think we might have unintentionally improved every single one of our parses today. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take some salvage. Hang on. We gotta get salvage. That's important. You wouldn't happen to be doing another run today, would you? Gotcha, okay. Ah, uh, right on. Yeah, I I'll stay on the server. It was a good run. Um, I, I usually try to do my runs during my stream days, which are only uh, weekdays, though. So uh, I probably won't be there tomorrow. But I got to get my rogue tank into a run uh, today still. So I'll be looking for that. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, thanks for the invite. Okay, the warlock group leader that was uh, rejected me from their group is not still looking for group. Uh, okay, let's check out. Let's let's check this out a little bit. Uh, March fifteenth. My grubbis improved by about. 240 DPS, uh, better than the last one. Okay. Viscous Fallout improved by, oh, you know, about 219 DPS. Okay. Electrocutioner improved by only about 59 DPS. Crowd Pummeler improved by... 183 DPS. Menagerie improved by... 66 DPS. And Thermoplug, despite not having world buffs, still improved by 20 DPS. Look at encounters, damage done. Yeah, we were second on encounter damage. The 96 uh, percentile average. Not bad. Yeah. As it turns out, um, whether you parse well or not sometimes has to do with you, but most of the time has to do with what group you're in. Show overall? Oh, like boss and trash? Um, still number two. Thought you were going to get me on overall. <laughs> Good try, Cream Sloggy. 